Hi, I'm Andrew Gray and I'm curator of herpetology at the museum. Um, herpetology is a long word, it sounds a bit strange, but it's actually the study of reptiles and amphibians. And some amazing amphibians, when we think of amphibians, we think about things like newts and frogs. And in this country, we've only got a few because it's so cold because they like the warmth, they've got very cold blood in the bodies and so in the tropics, in places like the Amazon and in places like South America, there's lots and lots of different types of frogs. Some of them have adapted to be able to make the most of that heat and some of them actually like to sunbathe. And this is one that does that. It's called a little red-eyed leaf frog and it's a leaf frog because it sits on leaves and it just stays there all day sunbathing, high up in the tree canopy. It's got this lovely green colour so it matches the leaves that it sits on. But in the highlands it's actually getting a little bit cooler for them and it's because in the lowlands it's getting warmer because of global warming the thicker clouds in the highlands means that it's impossible for the sun to get through but this one he stays fast asleep and at night he wakes up now during the day something might wake him up things like birds live in the trees they come down and they might think oh what's that that looks a bit strange it's a funny little blob on a leaf i wonder what that is so these frogs have got a fantastic way of escaping and what they do is they actually wake up if anybody disturbs them and they change from being this little green blob on a leaf to being the most amazing frog in the whole of the rainforest. And they do it by doing this, they wake up and they show the most amazing colours. They've got bright red eyes, they've got blue legs and they're very good at jumping. So he wakes up and he shows his red, red eyes and the predator, like the bird, he thinks, wow, that's a fantastic frog. And it gives the frog just enough chance to jump away.